So this is Dragon Warrior. A very beloved game released in the United States in about 1986. And 1989, apparently. I'm going to show you how to use the randomizer. Developed by McGrew, the randomizer will allow you to play this game as if it was your first time every time, and even make some cosmetic and aesthetic changes to make the experience more enriching. As you can see, this is just a regular game. The king talks to you, and inside these treasure chests you will find some things that will help you. There's some gold. There's a torch. And there's a key, so you can leave this infernal place. Okay, well, how do we do it? After you've located the randomizer program, feel free to open it. You're going to navigate to your original ROM dump. This file goes in the left. On the right side, you want to choose a destination folder. I made a folder called DWR for Dragon Warrior Randomizer. I made an archive folder to hold my old seeds so I don't get confused when I'm playing them in races. Now that we've selected this folder already, you can generate a random seed, and we generate our flags here. Or you can create your own seed by selecting boxes that make the game appear and behave the way that you're expecting. These are the default flags. This is what most people race on. If you just click defaults, it'll give you these flags here. It randomizes some crucial aspects of the game, including the map. I'm going to click the randomize button. A lot of information has now appeared. A ROM has been created and placed in the folder you specified. A checksum appears at the bottom of the screen. We use this to make sure that if you're doing a race, everyone is racing the same seed because you are otherwise blind to what they are doing. You can click OK. The next step will be to put this file into your emulator or power bank. You can use an EverDrive, a power pack, or an emulator to play this randomly generated game. These are my randomizers. This is the one we just made. This is my power pack. This is where I keep my Dragon Warriors inside the power pack. I'm going to remove an old seed that was in there so that I only have my new one remaining. I'm going to safely eject my compact flash card. And I'm going to reinsert it into my console. Get ready. Your mind is about to be blown. Dragon Warrior folder. And here is that file we just generated. Notice how there is the seed and the flags and the randomizer version present on this screen. That's important. The checksum was put into your computer's clipboard when you generated the ROM. You can paste this into a text document or into a chat window. I'm going to create a file with the A name which is a very poor strategy. I will choose fast message speed. It seems to be the same so far. But now let's see what's happened in our treasure boxes. This first one, instead of having 120 gold, has Erdrick's sword, the stones of sunlight, and this will be a key. The magic key will allow us to leave this room, but you're probably going to want to check to see if you start with any spells, like outside. If we had return, we could get out of here and keep our key. Anyway, this is how you play through and randomize your seed. I hope this helped you figure out how to generate a seed and play. Be sure to join Discord and 
Speedrun's live. Oh man, I just whacked that slime with my Erdrick sword. Great times. Wow, what a fantastic seed. Well, I'm gonna finish up this seed. I'll see you in the race room. Goodbye.